you probably recognize this logo. It's General Electric, or GE if you don't have much time. GE is a huge conglomerate as they make anything that involves electrics, duh. But it is mainly known for washing machines slash appliances, making guns the US military puts on planes, such as the A-10 Warthog. Healthcare systems, don't they seem friendly? Jet engines for commercial and the US military use, as well as other aerospace technology and renewable power. GE makes money both off the military industrial complex and civilian industries, and they must be pretty good at it as they're listed 33rd on the Fortune 500 2020, and in 2022 made 13.8 billion. The real question is how has GE become so successful and how has GE become so recognizable? You'll find out that out, we'll have to go back to 1889. In 1889, Drexel Morgan Co., founded by J.P. Morgan, who was bankrolling Thomas Edison and his electric companies, uh, helped them merge all of them together, forming Edison General Electric Company. General Electric Company then three years later merged with Thomas Houston Electric Company, forming General Electric. They then used this logo after they found it for the man with really nice handwriting. They found him when one of the businessmen at GE got their initials carved into a violin case by the said man. Later in 1900, they come up with a more modernized, recognizable, and refined logo, coming up with the iconic mo monogram. Then, nine years later, they'd come up with a more refined version of the logo that is pretty close to the modern version, and from here on out, GE logos are edited versions of this one. GE then launched the initials of a friend marketing campaign, which made the logo too iconic to change. By much. Two years later, they would absorb the National Electric Light Association into the company. Eight years later, they would expand into radios when they helped found the Radio Corporation of America. In 1930, GE forced to divest itself from RCA because of antitrust violations. GE, during this time, also started getting, getting into the military industrial complex, and during World War II, GE supplied the U.S. government 300,000 pounds superchargers for aircraft engines, catapulting them forward with all the money the U.S. government gave them. Welcome to the 1960s. GE is now rapidly expanding in computers and making a lot of new compu computers. It came out with a computer system, the GCOS, and later in 1969, they came up with the new logo that looked relatively the same as the last one. A little bit different. And a year later, they would sell their computer division to Honeywell. 1985, GE would buy RCA back, mainly to get in control of NBC. Two years later, they would again change the logo in an unnoticeable way. Then in 2004, change their logo to the current modern day one, which uses blue instead of black, helping to give it some extra pop. And, and it's the first notable change of the logo since 1909. In the same year, they'd buy 80% of Vivendi Universal Entertainment, and from 2004 to 2017, they would go on a company buying spree. Way too many to name as I'm running low on time, and that's about where G's story ends.